For this question, we want to use either substitution or elimination to solve this system of equations. Our system is y equals 5 thirds x minus 2 and negative 10x plus 6y equals negative 12. Now, the directions give us the choice of solving with the substitution method or the elimination method. As I'm looking at this problem, I think I would choose the substitution method because one of my equations has the y equals. So I'm going to take 5 thirds x minus 2 and substitute that into y in the other equation because this equals y. And that gives me negative 10x plus 6 times 5 thirds x minus 2 equals negative 12. Now I have an equation that only has one variable and I'll use the distributive property. And when I distribute, I would have negative 10x plus 30 over 3x minus 12 equals negative 12. 30 over 3 is 10. We have negative 10x plus 10x. E uh, minus 12 equals negative 12. That negative 10x and positive 10x will cancel each other out. And what we have here is a special case of our systems of equations in that we were intending to get down to one variable within our equation, but as we did that, all of the variables ended up going away, leaving us with this final statement here of negative 12 equals 12. So that means that this system um, is one of our special cases. What I mean by that, uh, if we think about this graphically, um, a solution to the system is an intersection point. So most equations will, most linear equations will intersect in a single point. However, we have a couple special cases where we could have two lines that are parallel to each other and have no intersection point or we could have two lines that are actually right on top of each other. In that case, you have infinite number of intersection points, all of them being on top of that line. So whenever all of the variables cancel out, like it did in this problem, we know that our system is in one of these two states where we have parallel lines or two lines that are right on top of each other. And this final statement here is going to indicate to us which one of those special cases. So because our final statement is a true statement, negative 12 does equal negative 12. That is a true statement. We know that we're in this case right here where the two lines are right on top of each other. If you ended up with a false statement, a false statement would indicate that your two lines are parallel and never intersect each other. So when we're in this case, where the two lines are on top of each other, we have infinite ordered pairs that are solutions, but they are restricted to only the ordered pairs that are on this line. So we need a way to indicate that. So we're going to have some ordered pairs. Those ordered pairs will be x and y values. And those x and y values, you can use this equation here to reduce down to, instead of two variables, instead of x and y, we'll reduce it down to just x. Now, I did that because y was already solved for. So I would do 5 thirds x minus 2 here. And this is the format for the ordered pairs. 
that will satisfy both of these equations. These are ordered pairs that are on each of those lines. Now you could also do this in terms of y as well, but I would need to rearrange one of these equations to solve for x. So if I wanted to do that, I would take the equation negative 10x plus 6y equals negative 12. Solve for x, I would subtract 6y. That's negative 10x equals negative 6y minus 12. Divide by negative 10 to get x equals, I'll reduce that 6 over 10. Both of them are even, so that becomes 3 over 5y. And that 12 over 10, both of them are even, so 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 10 5 times. So we could write our ordered pair xy as 3 fifths y plus 6 fifths comma y. So that would be it in terms of the variable y. So our solution to this system of equations are all ordered pairs of this format or all ordered pairs of this format. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.